Okay, hold it. Now sharpen the focus. Right. Hold roll two. Doctor, how is the sun born? Don't know exactly. You're a scientist and you don't know? Could use my imagination, but you're the fiction writer. Imagination? Well, we could ask Mr. Sun himself. Yes, if we had a magic wand. Sure, sure, you've got it. Magic. Your science and my magic. We'll open up our story of our Mr. Sun with a, with a little fantasy. You know, showmanship. We'll open up the curtain of our imagination. This will be our magic screen. Yours will be just for facts. We'll pull back the curtains of our magic screen. We'll dream up a plot. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace, where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. The sun is hot, the sun is not a place where we could live, but here on Earth there'd be no life without the light it gives. We need its light, we need its heat, the sunlight that we see. Of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. The sun is hot. The sun is so hot that everything on it is a gas aluminum, copper, iron, and many others. The sun is large. If the sun were hollow, a million Earths would fit inside. And yet, it is only a middle-sized star. The sun is far away, about 93 million miles away, and that's why it looks so small. But even when it's out of sight, the sun shines night and day. We need its heat, we need its light, the sunlight that we see. The sunlight comes from our own sun's atomic. Scientists have found that the sun is a huge atom-smashing machine. The heat and light of the sun are caused by the nuclear reactions between hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon, and helium. The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a gigantic nuclear furnace, where hydrogen is built into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees. 